Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie. So this is gonna be my preview of all the big TV shows that are coming this summer. There's there's actually quite a few that are premiering. I might not do videos for all of them on a weekly basis, but I'll at least be doing some of the premieres. A lot of you have also been asking me about shows that are on break. I will be doing weekly bonus videos for pretty much everything that I normally do videos for. That means The Flash, Game of Thrones, all that stuff while it's on break. So don't worry about that, but these are all new shows that are starting this summer. So big stuff first. Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell. It might not be something that you guys have heard of before. Some of you may have read the book. You can think of it as a grown-up version of Harry Potter, like a game of fairy thrones. There are actually a couple of similarities to Game of Thrones. It's a revisionist history tale, like in the same way Harry Potter is, you know, whereby magic exists in the real world. Where this series picks up, it's been gone for 300 years. So these two people have to bring it back. If you remember during Game of Thrones season one, you know, dragons were gone, nobody believed in magic, but it was said to have existed in the past. Come to the end of that season, you know, you find dragons come back into the world, and we get to see some magic in season two from Melisandre. This is a British drama, so the tone is a little bit different. Game of Thrones is an American series produced internationally, so it, it feels much more like an HBO American series. This is a BBC series. If you've never watched British drama before, it just, it plays a little bit differently, but it's still a lot of fun. There's seven episodes total, and they're basically doing the entire story from the book that Susanna Clarke wrote. They haven't said whether or not they're doing a season two, but Susanna Clarke is working on a sequel novel. She started in 2004. It's been about 10 years. It took her about 10 years to write the first novel. So even if she doesn't finish with that second book, they should have enough material to do a season two. It's already started airing in the UK, so what's probably going to happen is, is I'll probably wait till it premieres in the US to do my episode one video. What I'll probably do is an episode at the beginning of the season, and then I'll do a review of the entire season when it's all over. Next up is Doctor Who Series 9. That's going to be at the end of August, just like last year. That would put it on August 22nd for episode 1. If you've never watched Doctor Who before, this is a good time to jump on. I know everyone always asks questions about Doctor Who because there's such a long history. I try to make my Doctor Who videos assuming that you, you, know, you haven't watched like the entire history of Doctor Who, so don't worry. Peter Capaldi was a great doctor, so I'm looking forward to him coming back. Jenna Coleman is coming back as the companion, and Missy, or you know, the master, however you want to think about her, is going to be a big character too. Way bigger than she was last season. Next show after that is Fear the Walking Dead. That's going to premiere around the same time, but they haven't confirmed an official date yet. Just like they do every year, they will be bringing a whole bunch of new footage to Comic-Con. That's the first week in July. That's the good thing. They've been pretty vague about when that show's going to start, but it's six episodes, just like they did for Walking Dead Season 1. What happened is, is whenever The Walking Dead first aired a couple years ago, they did six episodes for Season 1, I guess, just to see how it would do. And then when Season 2 rolled around, they got a full season. So they'll probably do that with Fear the Walking Dead. The spin-off show is a prequel. It picks up when Rick is in his coma, like right around the time of the outbreak. They did say the timeline of the show would catch up with the main show eventually, so maybe in like Season 2, or season three of Fear the Walking Dead, they'll run concurrently. What they're probably gonna do is air all the episodes of Fear the Walking Dead in the lead up to the season six premiere of the main show. The main show always premieres the second week in October, so you know, just doing reverse math, they could either start Fear the Walking Dead at the end of August or the beginning of September. The problem with that is that they said it would start airing at the end of the summer, and September is not the summer, so we'll have to wait till they do that big Comic Con panel at the beginning of July to announce that official date. Don't worry, there'll be a whole bunch of trailer footage. They'll probably screen the first episode there, so I'll do non-spoilery reviews of all that stuff. But Robert Kirkman is much more involved with the spin-off show than he is with the main show. So if you're a big fan of the comics and Robert Kirkman, you will enjoy the spin-off show. Moving on to the smaller stuff, so Star Wars Rebels is going to air their first episode June 20th. That's called The Siege of Lothal. They screened it for the first time back in April at, at Star Wars Celebration, but most of you will be seeing it for the first time. The regular series, though, will pick up in October, just like it did last year. Freddie Prince Jr. Is, is always really funny when he talks about the series. He did say that it would have double the episodes of season one. That's not confirmed. That would, that would put it somewhere between like 20, 22 episodes. The Guardians of the Galaxy cartoon that I just posted the trailer for is supposed to air at the end of the summer. There's no official date, so I'm expecting August. But because delays are so common in the world of animation, I wouldn't be surprised if they pushed the premiere to September. There's a whole bunch of other stuff that I will be making content for on Twitter and Facebook. There, there are links for that in the description, but here's a rundown of like all the other stuff. Hannibal Season 3 starts on June 4th. It, they're billing it as like the Bride of Hannibal with Gillian Anderson. It looks spectacular and terrifying. I don't think I'll be doing a lot of videos for it, but I, I will be, at least be doing stuff on Facebook and Twitter. 
Then a little bit after that, on June 12th, the people that made Stargate Atlantis have a new show called Dark Matter premiering on Sci-Fi. Right now, it's the only space opera that there is, so I would recommend you check it out. True Detective Season 2 starts on June 21st, that's HBO of course. I'll at least do a video for the premiere. The only thing that worries me about this season is that they took a lot of the mythology out of the show, like a lot of the really trippy stuff that made Season 1 awesome. The Rock also does have a new show on HBO. It's called Ballers. It's basically like Entourage for sports people. I'm not planning on doing videos for it, but I'm going to check it out. At the end of June, Teen Wolf Season 5 starts and Scream. The Scream series is based on the films. If you guys watched Arrow, Sin is part of that series. That's why she's not on Arrow. I'm not planning on doing Teen Wolf videos, but I will watch because it's probably going to be the last season of Teen Wolf. Penny Dreadful is on Showtime. It's still in the middle of its run. It's, it's a Sunday night show. I'd recommend you check it out. I don't know that I'm going to be doing videos for it, but it's spectacular. I know everybody's really excited about the new X-Files miniseries they're doing early next year. David Duchovny and Gillian Anderson. Right now, David Duchovny has a series called Aquarius. You can stream all the episodes for free on NBC.com. Think of it as like an X-Files miniseries built around the mystery of Charles Manson. It's super dark. It just so happens that Renly Baratheon from Game of Thrones is playing Charles Manson. So that should get some of you excited at least. So that's just a quick rundown of some of the big stuff that's happening in the next couple months. I, you know, I will do preview videos whenever seasons get ready to start, so don't worry. Because Comic-Con is happening so early this year, I'll start to do preview videos for Comic-Con in a couple weeks too. So be sure to subscribe to get that. I have a pretty good idea of the type of stuff I'm going to be doing there. There is a rumor that Marvel is not going to go, but they haven't confirmed that yet. They'll, they'll probably wait till the last minute to say yes or no. This year is going to be really huge for all the DC TV shows and the Warner Brothers DC movies. They will be bringing a shit ton of footage. It's going to be awesome. If there's anything specific that you guys want to request that I didn't mention, just let me know in the comments. If there's something that you guys really want but I, I don't have time to do like full weekly videos for, I'll at least try to do something on Facebook. I don't have anybody helping me yet, like I still do all this stuff by myself, but hopefully by the fall I will have like a, a helper so it'll be a little bit easier for me to do stuff. If you're confused about the bonus video schedule, the days that videos would normally post will be the days that bonus videos typically post. Like the flash airs on Tuesdays, that's usually when my videos post, that's the day the bonus videos for that will post. Usually every morning I'll post on Twitter and Facebook the, the video schedule for the day. So if you're ever curious, you know, just check Twitter and Facebook. So don't forget about new Game of Thrones tomorrow. I'll be posting a bonus video and then my episode video j just like normal. While you guys wait for that stuff to post, you can click here for last week's episode and you can click here to learn all about Maester Aemon. Thank you so much for watching. Everybody, let's high five. I'll see you guys tomorrow.